All right, hello everyone. I took the challenge. They said to pass the cast, so here I am. I'm Lynette from Knit So Fabulous. I am broadcasting live from Detroit, Michigan. The name of my channel is Knit So Fabulous. My Knits, My Detroit. So right now you caught me coming off of uh, the wonderful Memorial Day holiday. Um, all day long, I've been cooking for the family. Thank you, everyone. Gorgeous, love my hair. Thank you. Hi there. Um, yeah, I've been cooking for the family. Blondes are back. Well, of course they are. But you know, 50 Shades of Grey is the new black. All right, yes. Hey, hello, Lynette. Thank you. Hello to um, Community TV Tube. Hello from Dallas. Thank you. Thank you. Um, hello. Thank you. Summer's here. Um, yeah, I had to take the challenge. I'm, I've been watching. I've been cruising. I call myself cruising. Hi from um, Oklahoma. Nice hair color. Well, listen, it's natural. Um, I've been gray. 50 Sandras of gray is everything. Yeah, beautiful hair shades. Thank you. Tell us about you. Um, I'm Lynette. I'm from um, Detroit. Love the Lions, very good. I'm from Detroit, Michigan, and I am a knitwear designer. I, um, okay, see what I'm doing on my hand? I'm finger knitting right now. Okay, want to see something really fantastic? This excites me. Big cones of yarn <laughs> excites me. Okay, love the hair. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm finger knitting right now. I was watching all of the uh, broadcasts, trying to learn about past the past the um, cast. And then my whole family's from Detroit, Hal Allen Park, Dearborn, and Trenton. Um, hello. Hey, we got Gross Point in the house. Hello. Hello from Warren. Hello. Yeah, I... I knit. When I'm just sitting around, I take some yarn and I create avant-garde things with yarn. So if you want to follow me on Facebook, um, it's Knit So Fabulous on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. Hi, uh, you lived in Lansing for a minute? Good, good to know. Show us something. Listen, I can't show you anything right now because I did a show last night. I did not unpack. What do I knit? I knit everything from um, sweaters, dresses, um, little tops. Um, it all started because my son, my son wanted some socks, and I was going to try to teach him or try to make him some socks. Okay, will you teach us? Yes, my name on Instagram is Knit So Fabulous. Love your hair, girl. Well, thank you. I, um, I've been gray for a long time. How long does it take me to knit a sweater? Um, it depends. If I'm doing it on the knitting machine, I can knock out a sweater in about two weeks because I have to be precise and cut, uh, how you say, knit the sweater on the, the, the grid of the knitting machine following the past the cast. Who is going to be next? Okay. Anyway. Um, I have to knit the sweater on the machine, so that really depends on if it's going to be a raglan sleeve, if it's going to be just a regular sleeve, or um, a little more thing. If it's going to be um, a dolman sleeve, it really depends on what design of sweater. Because um, I get excited with making fabulous size clothing, and that's clothing for women who are not your average size four, six, or eight. Um, I forgot to explain past the cast when I had it. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. Okay, so basically what it is, if you got the poo hearts, and that's the brown colored hearts, that means that you are up next to broadcast and tell about yourself. I see poo hearts on there too, right? Uh, yeah. Do you design clothes? Yes, I design clothes. I'm a little bit avant-garde my clothing. Um, I like to uh, design things that are very comfortable, like what I'm wearing today. This is like a, a muslin, not even muslin, it's a gauze type top. And I have some matching pants. And I believe in comfort. 
So when I knit things, thank you for the hair. When I knit things, I tend to knit um, oversized garments that are super comfortable. I love wool. I love, love, love wool. I love rayon. I am in love with silk. Silk and cotton mix is like the best ever for me. Um, so, yeah, I make things. Right now I'm making like an S cord. And this is something that I can use later on. Gore-Tex. I, you know what? That's something that I cannot make. That's a fabric I can't make. So I buy that off the rack. But I do like Gore-Tex because you can, you know, it, it sews fairly easy. It has lots of stretch. Is that the Gore-Tex you're talking about? Yeah, that stuff is really cool. All right. Any more questions for me? Okay. So we got to think about you knit with your fingers? Yes, I am currently knitting with my fingers. And um, this is something that was taught to me when I was a child. And it is, they call it finger weaving, but for me, it's finger knitting. And while I was watching the broadcast, oh, Mother Earth uh, is your nickname. You want to call me Mother Earth right now? Sweet, how cool is that? I accept that name. I am honored to have that name, Mother Earth. I have to put that in my tagline, right? Okay. Were you successful in teaching your son to knit um, socks? No. You know, see, my son, all he wanted was the socks. And as a mother, I tried everything to create these socks for him. Come to find out, they took a lot of intricate, intricate knitting with the needles and I just couldn't get it. So my husband found out that I was like um, really getting into these knitting machines. So he says, listen, you find a knitting machine and we'll go get you one. So he drove me all the way to Florida to get my very first knitting machine. My son eventually got his socks, but they were out of fleece. I did a cut and sew put little grippies on there so he wouldn't slide around our hardwood floors. Everybody was happy. But in the meantime, that lent, that um, launched my Knit So Fabulous career. And it, yeah, I have a very fabulous husband. I call him Mr. Fabulous. Jumping off, let's find y'all again. Oh, bye. Bye, Community TV. Thank you. Who has the poo hearts? Who has the poo heart? Who's volunteering next? Because, you know, I'll ramble on. I got some knitting, a little glass of wine, and then, hey, it is just keep going. So that's so neat, watching your finger knits. Thank you. Um, maybe on one of my other broadcasts, I will show you how I do the arm knitting. That is a really awesome uh, design. I sell those very well. Oh yeah. Okay. Listen, I sell my artwork in a minute. Well, in June, June 7th will be the kickoff for my, um, my, uh, time at the Eastern market in Detroit, Michigan. And it's a market where, um, artisans is going to be a Sunday market. So I will be broadcasting every Sunday from the Detroit Eastern market. I will interview the different people um, from Detroit. I, oh, I'm sorry, your throat's killing you. I will show my artwork, my knits on models. There will be music. There will be a lot of different things. It'll be from 10 to 4. I don't know how I'm going to uh, work it out yet, if I'm going to broadcast the whole time or if I'm just going to do um, different segments as the different qu kings and queens of Detroit come up. Um, it's it's going to be a wonderful time, and I hope all of you can follow me then. Okay, um, do you frame your knitting? You know what? Um, no, but I do have, I do not frame my knitting, but I do have artwork that I put in frames. Um, I do a, a, a series of weaving 
and say if a piece of knit falls off the machine, say it just drops stitches, I will take that knit and I will put it or mount it on a frame to create the artwork. So that's an, another thing um, that I will show you later on. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Jenny's following me. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you very much. Follow Christy. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Where's Christy? I don't... Oh, there's Christy. Yes, I followed you, Christy. I'm following you, Christy. All right. Is Christy another fiber artist? Okay, wait a minute. I'm going. Okay. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so, okay, it's all about passing. Put, okay, Christy, put fruit in your comment, and we're going to pass the broadcast to you next. Okay? Christy, let me know when you're ready. When she, when, when she starts her broadcast, I need everyone to switch over to Christy because she's the next lineup. Listen, I want to really thank all of you for following me and being here with me. I really, really enjoy it. I'm new to Periscope. Thank you for the knitting. You're welcome. You're welcome, Jenny. Okay, she's in love. She's in love you. Thank you. Love you too, guys. Thank you. Now, next time I'll have probably the needles or the arm knitting. Hi, Jewel. How are you? Thanks for following. Thanks for being here. You know, guys, thank you. How are you, Lynette? I'm doing good today. Thank you. This was a great day. Um, I did a lot of cooking for the family. Guess what? I did a lot of cooking. I did some grilling. And they're going to be eating leftovers for the next couple of days. Because I have an event on Wednesday. is um, a naughty and nice bra party. So, you know, we're going to. We're going to do uh, some fashions over there with shears and how to wear appropriate undergarments. So I guess everyone is switched over to Christy. I thank you so much, and I see you soon, okay? Thank you for following me. Bye. Peace and love from Detroit. Bye.